Hi, in this video I am going to teach you, how to trade. The basics. Free to play players can't trade, so you need to buy something from the Team Fortress 2 shop, after you done that, you become pay to play player. Steam mobile application. Before you actually start to trade, you need to activate Steam mobile application. Once you set it up you will have to wait 7 days, after that you're able to trade without having to wait. Oh and by the way, don't forget to activate Steam Guard. Currency TF2 uses refined metal as currency, 1 key is 62.44 refined, 1 refined metal is 1 refined, obviously. 1 reclaimed metal is 0.33 refined. 1 scrap is 0.11 refined, or 2 weapons. Trade URL Point cursor at your Steam name. Click on Inventory. Trade Offers Who can send me trade offers? This is your trade URL. Copy it, we will need it later. Trading websites. We are going to use these two sites. Scrap.tf, Backpack.tf. There is also a site called Marketplace.tf. It uses real life money, but we are not going to talk about it today. Let's start with Scrap.tf. First, we need to log in. Then we need to set up our trade URL. Click on your profile picture. Settings. And paste your trade URL. After that, save settings. Auto scrap. When you click on auto scrap, the bot will send you in trade offer that will take all of your duplicate weapons and turns it into metal, which we use later to buy hats or any other items, depends on how much metal do you have, cheapest hats are craft hats it's about 1.66 ref, cheapest taunts are the meet the medic, and taunt I see you for sniper, both price is 9.33 ref. Sometimes it takes a long time to load the items, but that's Valve's fault. Now we need to confirm the trade in Steam Mobile app. Done. Let's buy a hat. Remember, craft hats are the cheapest. You can also change class by clicking on this blue button. You can pay with metal or hats that you already own. First option is to pay with hats and metal, second option is to pay with only metal. This process is same as the one with auto scrap. Every time you trade, you always need to confirm the trade in mobile app. There is also a thing called raffles. You don't have to pay anything to enter the raffle, raffles are free, raffles are items that you could win. Raffles are made by players. On Scrap.tf there are two types of raffles, Mega Raffle, 
and normal raffles. Mega raffle is basically what you can see here, it's a big raffle, everyone can join and everyone can also give items. Normal raffles are made by one person and everyone can join it. You can see here that I already entered, and won some raffles. There is about 100 new raffles every day, if it's Halloween or any other TF2 event then people go crazy and can create even 300 raffles a day. People also give away very expensive items like, keys and unusuals. You can see here that I have won an item, so let's go withdraw it. By the way, this time I don't have to use my phone because I am not trading away anything from my inventory. Scrap.tf also has auctions. Auctions are a public sale, in which items are sold to the highest bidder. Auctions are created by players. You can also check the price of the item on Backpack.tf, they might have it cheaper. If you won the auction, but you left it unpaid, you can get banned on auctions for a very long time. So think twice before you place the bid. Everyone can create an auction. When you want to create an auction, you need to first trade your items to site inventory. Your items will appear here. In auction name, put the name of your item you're selling. Also check price of your item on backpack.tf, so you won't scam anyone or yourself. Click on your item then click on stats. Here you can see the prices people are offering. There is also thing called incinerator, it's like a trash can, you can trade here items you don't want and others will take it, or the exact opposite. Right now it says error, it says error because there are no items in it. 
backpack.tf Login is same as on scrap.tf. Login through Steam and set up trade URL. You can see here the scrap.tf is offering two keys and one ref for this taunt. Let's see what Backpack.tf is offering. See? Backpack.tf has it cheaper, 1 key, and 58.44 ref. By the way there are also bots, these bots are created by players, and are faster than bots on scrap.tf, at least most of them. You can trade with them by clicking on this green button next to orange flag. This order is created by player, you can tell it's created by player, bots usually has long text with commands. Now I will show you how to create your own listing, go to your backpack. Find the item you want to sell. Point at it, and click on sell. And again check the price of the item, if you want to sell it faster then make the price lower. You can also remove it by clicking on red cross. If you have tons of crates you can sell them, 8 crates for 1 scrap metal. People are buying them for some reason. Now you need to confirm it in Steam mobile app.
there are many ways to get metal, anyway this video is long enough already, so rest of this video will be quicker. One of the ways of getting metal is by idling, every weapon drop should be intervals of 30 to 70 minutes. Another way of getting metal is by selling crates as I showed before. Another way of getting metal is using scrap.tf auto scrap as showed before. Last way is by turning key into metal by trading. What to do with the metal? You can spend it on hats, weapons, unusuals, games, yes you can buy games on scrap.tf, but it's expensive, stranges, kill streaks, trading cards, trading cards could be used to level up your steam profile. Trading with players, beware of scammers, always check price on backpack.tf. Avoid getting scammed. If your friends start sending weird links, could mean their profile was hacked, don't click on that link, it could steal your Steam account. Never do what they tell you, if they tell you to go friend admin because you have duped items then don't do it, never ever friend random people. Always check item prices on backpack.tf. Again, don't click on random links people send. This video took a long time to make, so please if you could like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching.